ban for like 35 odd years. The trash can smashes. And we've been here actually a few times over those years, very odd years. And, uh, we lived in a town, there was a while we all lived together in a place called Kilmarnock. It's like on the west, west of Scotland, like a small town. And we had this studio that we owned, and it was an old uh, Victorian tenement building. And uh, there was a period when Kilmarnock inspiration run dry. We ran, we ran out of songs, and uh, a friend of ours had a place in Galway, and he says, why don't you go over to Ireland and uh, change the backdrop and see if it inspires you a bit more. So we did that, that meant uh, getting in the car, leaving Kilmarnock, going down, crossing the border into England, and through England crossing the border into Wales, and then get a ferry across to Holyhead in Ireland. And uh, this was back in the days when folk smoked. And uh, we used to smoke quite uh, unusual things. <laughs> I don't know what happened, is, this, is it cool here? Okay, it's cool here, right. Well, back then, and still actually in the UK, it's not cool. It's criminal, but it's kind of all level criminal, you know. Um, but we had to keep it quiet. And uh, on this occasion, this would have been, the, I don't know, the early 90s, we got to this place in Wales, and we realised that we had some, uh, some of this unusual stuff in the car. And we had to go through the customs. So we had a little ceremony on the beach. I uh, didn't, didn't really notice, but the, the, the aroma from our ceremony wafted up to the customs guys. <laughs> and they were, kinda, they were ready for us. And, uh, we were pretty, it was quite funny to us, to be honest. We were kind of flying on the boat, so it's all right. And, uh, but the upshot was we missed the ferry and we had to, had to spend the night in North Wales in a hotel. So we got into this bar and, and uh, in the hotel, we're drinking away. It's quite busy, but like this, maybe slightly busy. <laughs> uh, there was a, I had a Scottish accent. It wasn't ours. It's for somewhere else. It's like an Aberdeen accent, a really northern Scottish accent. And I turned around and there was a guy at the bar, big, big bruiser of a fellow, and he was chatting to me. So I went up to him and I said, "What, what are you doing down here? Aberdeen's like the real far north of Scotland." And he said, I'm a, I'm a deckhand on the, on the trawlers, on the fishing trawlers. And that's a kind of menial bit of the, the job, you know. So I have to follow the fish. Wherever the fish are, I have to go. That's where the work is. The fish are off Wales just now. And I've got a wife and kids up in Aberdeen. And I, you know, I do this job and then I send the money up to them. And I asked them what the job was like. And he said, it's really tough. He said, the first week we go out, um, I chuck, um, casting the nets into the water and pulling them in. And then he showed me his hands and he did these big inch, inch wide, deep rope burns in both hands. And he said, the second week I'm down, I'm down in a hold and I'm gutting the fish. So they're out at sea for two weeks and it's dangerous and it's terrible and, and the money's awful. But whatever I get, I send up the road to my wife and the kids. I said, I've also got this little side business where I sell these unusual cigarettes. <laughs> so, uh, so we helped him feed the wife and kids. <laughs> And he helped us because uh, a song came out of him. The atmosphere of him and his lifestyle, and what he told me, conjured up this song. I don't know where he is these days, I hope he's safe somewhere. I wrote this song, it's called The Sleeping Policeman. Love with the 
north seas go Get in the car, we'll go.